Hello everybody, welcome this week. I've got a few minutes of some great information. If you watch the information, I promise you it's going to be a benefit to you. Some of the things that I've learned in all the books that I've read and all the experiences that I've had is one, the importance of helping other people. My philosophy is the more I give, the more I live. Now a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about myself flying, learning how to fly. And one of the reasons I made that video was I had made a promise to myself that I wanted to learn how to fly, but quite honestly, that's not a big enough reason. If it's just about me, it's not a big enough reason. But when I try to help other people, when I share my goals with other people to inspire them, to help them to take more action in their life, it makes me need to live up to that statement. So once a month for three hours, I do a seminar right here at Pace Butler. The tickets are $100 each, which some people would say that's a lot of money. Three hours, $100. Now at any time during this seminar, you want to ask me a question or you want to give me input, I'll be happy to stop and listen or answer your question, okay? So we're trying to make it more interactive instead of, because I can go the entire three hours without stopping probably. $100 for three hours a seminar. Now my goal is, is to have 100 people attend this seminar. And so I work and I think about what the seminar is going to be about next month. Ryan, could you ride this bicycle? Anybody can ride a bicycle. Once you know how to buy, ride a bicycle, you always know how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, it's awkward. So what he's trying to do and what, what Trevor tried to do is they tried to use willpower, tried to override a habit. Riding a bicycle is a habit. And so just trying to override this in a short period of time isn't going to work. For the average person, it would take 90 days to be able to ride this bicycle. If you worked on it 20 minutes a day, you could ride this bicycle. But if you got on a traditional bicycle after learning how to ride this bicycle, you would have difficulties riding a traditional bicycle. Now, it wouldn't take you 90 days to revert because that habit's still there. You just have to uncover it. So it would take probably maybe an hour to be able to ride it. But then if you got back on this bicycle, you'd have troubles riding this bicycle. I'm gonna do another seminar in November. And I want those 100 people that show up to get benefit from that seminar. So I think about what I'm gonna say and I, I take notes and I work on it. I need to be the best person I can be so that when I, sh I do a seminar, people are gonna get great value out of it because I do 100% guarantee. And I'll ask two or three times during this seminar, if you're not getting your value, if you're not getting the money, your money's worth from this seminar and you think this is a waste of your time, let me know and I'll give you your $100 and you can walk right out. I understand. Thank you guys for coming tonight. And I hope this is, if you, anybody wants their $100, I got the 100 bucks. I'd be happy to give you your $100 back. I've never had anybody walk out of the seminar, but the seminar needs to continue to get better and better. Jim Rohn, one of, the, one of the people I've learned a tremendous amount from, he talks about he's got to be better at doing seminars this year than he was last year. And he did seminars for over 30 years. And his seminars are available online at YouTube. You can learn so much from Jim Rohn. His last name is spelled R-O-H-N. And you can learn so much from him. The very first time I was ever exposed to his information was a video series called How to Have Your Best Year Ever. It was a five and a half hour course and it was on VHS tapes, those big old fashioned tapes. And I bought it, it cost $200, the first one I bought. And then the second one I bought was about $100. And the reason why I bought a second one was because I wanted to share it with a friend of mine. I wanted my friend to have the information that Jim had acquired not only information, but he also put it into action. It's very important. If we want to be successful, we take action. There are so many people that know what to do, but they don't take any action. And then what kind of action do we need to take? So I gave that set to my friend, and I don't know what he did with that. 
He might have watched it, he might not have. But I have continued to watch that series, How to Have Your Best Year Ever. I've been watching that series for over 25 years, at least once a year. And every time I do, I do it with a bunch of other people to expose them to this great information. One of the things that Jim Rohn said that really, really made a lot of sense to me was the difference between greed and ambition. Greed, making a profit at the expense of someone else. Ambition, making a profit at the service to others. So this seminar that I do, that I charge $100 for, generates $10,000 worth of revenue. Now, right now, as we're building this group, I want to share the information with other people. So right now, the way I'm, I'm getting people to attend the seminar is I've hired someone to go sell tickets, to go door to door to businesses, individuals, to get them to attend the seminar. And the person that's selling the tickets gets the entire $100. So I, right now, I want to get momentum started. I want to have, you know, we've had like 20 people, 25 people, but I want to get it to 100. The venue cost nothing. And you can find a venue out there that doesn't cost you anything. It could be a, 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 at a school. It could be a high school, a junior high, or college. It could be your church. Or it could, you might have to pay a little bit to find a hotel that allow you to use their meeting room at a very discounted rate if it's an off time. But it, it, that gets a little dicey there. Best thing is if you can find a place that's totally free. And our conference room is large enough for 100 people, so it doesn't cost anything. There is never a money problem. There is only an idea problem. Once you come up with the idea, if you put it into action and you stay committed and you make adjustments along the way, you can create great things. So I've got the knowledge, I've read the books, I've had the experience, and there's people around us, all around this area, that don't have the knowledge that I've acquired or the experience. And so I believe the more I give, the more I live, I want people to attend this seminar and be able to benefit from it. We have students, we have business people, we have people that are in education that attend this seminar, we have homeless people that attend this seminar, it's a really incredible group of people. And every time I do the seminar, I think I'm getting better. And also, I am learning how to be better. In the book Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck, she talks about a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. The fixed mindset, we've accomplished something. For instance, we've run a marathon. We did this time and we're never going to run another marathon because we might run it slower. The growth mindset, I ran a marathon, four hours and 50 minutes, next time I can do better, and they continue to work at it. And even if the second time they run a marathon, it's slower than the first time, what other actions do they need to do to be able to beat the first marathon? That's a growth mindset. It's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay not to be as polished as these other people that we compare ourselves to. Compare yourself to who you were in, the, in your past and compare yourself to where you want to go in life. Use other people to inspire you, not other people to compete with. I got off the phone yesterday. I spoke to someone that's in our business. Pace Butler buys used cell phones throughout the United States, and we export those phones all over the world. And so I was talking to a, a person that's in the same business, and it appears by the conversation we had on the phone that they are buying way more phones. They're, they're processing a lot more phones than we are with less people. Well, my first thought was, that's impossible. Denial. No, it's not impossible. They're just doing it in a different way. And in the book, The Science of Getting Rich, he talks about if you want to be successful, you have to do things in a certain way. And so what is that certain way? How can we take the resources that we have and make those resources benefit more people? And that's what I'm doing with the seminar. Tom Pace Success Seminar. Now it's also online. You can watch a couple of other versions uh, a couple of other times pre-COVID that I did a success seminar. Three hour long seminar. 
I've done two of them. They're on YouTube. Please watch them. Also, there are other videos from three years ago. I did over 150 short videos, 5, 10, 15 minute videos about a whole bunch of different information. I get inspired with ideas. Ideas give me incredible energy as long as I take some action on them. Now, if I get an idea and something I want to do and I don't do it, then I get frustrated and then I get depressed. So what I want to do is I want to have an idea, I want to take action, I want to stay committed. So I'd like to invite you to come to our seminar. It's in Oklahoma City and I know for some of you it'd be great travel to get here. And if you contact us, then I'll be able to help you to get here. Whatever it takes. If you're willing to take the action, if there's something I can do to help you to be successful, I want to do that. The book I'm reading right now is this book right here. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. I just now started it. I got this book from John, the young man that ran with me a couple of weeks ago in the Oklahoma City Marathon. John came over to our house this Monday and he had dinner with our family. And it was a great, and he brought me this gift. One of the five love languages, gift giving. He brought me a, a gift. I also gave him a gift. Of course, I gave him a copy of the book, Mentor, the Kid and the CEO. And I autographed it. And I put something in there that makes a lot of sense to me. And what I wrote in there was, John, may God bless you. And then I signed my name and put my cell phone number in the book. God wants to bless us. God wants to use us. God wants us to, God wants to use us and God wants us to do his work. And the more I do that, the happier I am. The more I try to do things to help other people, to glorify God, the happier I am. This morning was Wednesday. Wednesday mornings when I go to county jail. I went to county jail this morning. We had a huge rainstorm with some tornadoes in the area. It was something, I, there were some challenges that I had to overcome. I got those challenges, I took care of them, and I got to meet some people this morning in Oklahoma County Jail. And then after that, I went to the country club and I talked with my friend. And just before I left, we noticed south of the main building, flames. The, the fitness center was on fire. And uh, they showed up with, I bet there were 20 fire trucks. Kind of an exciting way to start the day. Tornadoes at 5 a.m., fire at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's been an interesting day already. I'm looking forward to the rest of the day. Our seminar is tonight, Wednesday night. Uh, I think, what are we, the 13th of the month for October. And so we're going to have a seminar tonight. Probably going to have somewhere between 25 and 50 people. All the proceeds are going to go to the guy that's selling the tickets. But once we get the momentum going, then we'll be able to cut back a little bit or add some more chairs. And then all the profits after that are left over for all the cost will go to being able to give away more books in jails and prisons. Four titles that we give away, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, Alcoholics Anonymous by The Anonymous People, and Mentor the Kid and the CEO. So if you have a jail in your city or town that's not getting free books from the World Book Bank, have that organization go to worldbookbank.org and get free books for, the, for their residents, for their clients in their jails. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, I always forget this till the very end. If you want to talk to me, my phone number is down below. Give me a call. If you have a question or you want to tell me about your business or things that are going on in your life, I'd be happy to talk with you. So thank you for tuning in. And if you want to, you can click the like button and you can share it with your friends. That'd be great. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. Thank you for watching.